What's up, dude? You ready to get him? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Let's get a revenge. West wall, southwest corner. All right. There's still been some yellow fins picked, so we got a chance. But, I mean, we're, we're going to big eye fish this morning, okay? Um, we'll kind of go from there if we want to tuna fish all day or go tile, then tuna. The plan is big eye first light, and then I'll kind of see if there's yellow fin fishing, and then we'll go from there. Sound Sounds good? good. Yeah. All right. Let's get out of here. All right, folks. Time check. It's a little after 1.30 right now. Just boarded the Reaper. First two to trip of the 2023 season here. Hopefully gonna be a good one, but right now we got an 80 mile commute out to the fishing grounds. I'm gonna try to get a little sleep. Been up all day, so a little nap can't hurt anybody. Just look at Tommy here. Catch you guys in the morning. Woo. So after completely blacking out at a little past two in the morning, I slept through all of the RPM changes like an absolute brick until I heard yelling from the cabin at around 7 a.m. All right. With the 80, I don't know if you might need the other one or not. Leave it in here? Whatever you want. You want to fight it standing up or like that? I can fight it standing up. All right. It's an 80. All right. <laughs> so still incredibly groggy, and unsure whether or not I was dreaming, I deliriously stumbled down to the cockpit grabbed a hold of this 80 wide international and locked in to one of my biggest tuna to date. Pretty good. Oh man. All right, good morning. <laughs> oh, he's taking drag. Oh my God, I can't move this guy. Big eye? It's big eye. Gappable. <laughs> Big fish. I'm on mono. That's a big eye. I'm tight, I'm tight. <laughs> there he is. That's a butterball there, baby. Damn. Yeah, buddy. Number two coming up. All right, folks, time check, 8.30. I didn't want to say anything yet, but we just boated. First fish of the day. Tom just got a nice big eye right there, maybe 120 pounds, so. I'm strapped into a slightly meaner one right here. Yeah, that would have been ugly. So, got him maybe within 60, 70 yards right now. Just approaching end game. Hopefully can stick our second fish of the day. I was sleeping when both fish bit. Got a good six hours last night, so. Well rested to fight this fish. Priority number one, let's get this meatball in the boat. That's a big one. When you go, when you go to get that's color, right? I see that. <laughs> Holy. It's a real one. Yeah, no. Nah. You good? You just digging. Here he comes. You're good. Try to get on mic from the boat. Yeah. 
He's not up there. He's good, okay. right here. He's digging, hold on. Okay. You're good. Good? Yeah. Got him? Yeah. Got him. Yeah. Watch out, I got him. Okay. Got him. Yeah. Busting the drag, drag, drag. Ready? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh my god. Yes! 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 That's our yes. biggest one. That's that a, a big one. That's a fatty, dude. Yo! Yo, yo. That's an absolute butterball. Yeah. Holy What a way to wake up. Besides the fight, that was the easiest tuna fishing ever. I just woke up. All right, maybe 200 pound big guy. We're trolling around for hours. I'm like, Dylan's going to walk out, walk yeah, into the yeah. cockpit, and Roger's just going to. Yo, what's rolling? All right, folks, that was probably the easiest tuna fishing ever, besides the whole fighting part. I woke up at. 7.30, walked out, and uh, hour 15 minutes later, just boated. Probably a 180 bluefin. No. <laughs> Big eye. Oh, God. 160 to 175, for sure. Yeah? Yeah. Pretty darn. I'm, I'm saying 189. So beautiful double header here. To start the day, and that's going to be a wrap for the tuna fish. Literally, it's 8.45 now. Probably over 300 pounds of Big Eye in the boat. Woo! Hell of a start of the day. Yeah, Cap. Yes! Pull up to him. Get in there, Dill. Yes! <laughs> yeah! Dude, I'm sauced right now. I'm actually done. I've never been so tired. Oh, Tommy's down. Oh, Tommy, the fish in the bag, not you. Tommy's down. Ready? One, two, three. We gotta get them to drop down. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah. there we go. That's one hell of a way to start a morning, folks. Been awake maybe two hours here. Got over 300 pounds. Big eye on ice. So uh, that's it for tuna fishing, Cap. Yeah, we're all done. I think uh, go go pull on some tile fish, and then we're gonna go look at an inshore bluefin spot, and then go weigh them in. Yeah. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. My legs are absolutely chopped right now. I've never been so exhausted after fighting a fish, but uh, two for two on Big Eye. Can't ask for a much better morning than that. All right, folks, we just arrived at the tile fish grounds here. Zach, what are we in, like 800 feet? 625, so a little inshore of the canyon. I just want to go over a quick summary of uh, how we got that bluefin. Big eye. <laughs> God. Yeah. Just want to give a quick summary of how I caught that big eye because I just woke up, strolled out here, and uh, <laughs> fought a fish for an hour. So we had a, a nine rod spread that went out, what, five o'clock, Chris? Quarter five, yeah. 445. Yeah. So we're trolling about three hours. So I got bit like 730, 745. And uh, Tom's fish here bit a, uh, what kind of plug, Chris? CD uh, Bomber CD30, it's called. Bomber CD30. Then my fish was on the uh, candy apple red three ounce Joe shoot here, the uh, rig valley. So playing a little calmer right now, just moved uh, a little bit inshore. Hopefully pick up some some big beefy tiles. We elected to hit the, the big tile fish spot instead of some more dropping real inshore stuff, but let's get on them. You. All right, so first rod going down on my rod here. Tommy's already getting bit. Oh, drop the bag, I don't think you got him. Yeah, he's off. Just fishing big tandem circle hook rigs right here. 100 pound leader and uh and a four pound sinker so tommy's already on the meat dropping down a squid on the bottom there and a little mahi belly here little sunfish look at that it's beautiful oh yo, there he is you got him you got him got him now tommy's on him first drop and i'm just dropping down the uh good old international 30 wide here all right first drop on the bottom 700 feet down we're getting bit already are you getting bit already yeah Stolen out. Got a fish on. Oh, that's what I mean. I think it's, it's hard to detect the <laughs> Yeah, it is. I got a fish. I might have two on. I was like, why is it stolen out? We won't pull it up. Oh, wow, slammed. That's a fight. Oh, that's a big one. Woo! Oh, yeah, we are tangled up. Yeah, okay. All right. Get the gaff. I'll get it. Got it. A little gold in there. Oh, yeah. There we go. What do you say? Choked it. Choked, Choked it, bro. It. Hold this. Yeah, that's a nice one right there, man. It's my favorite eating yeah, fish. Up, All right, guys, you got to go on this. Big one? Yeah. 
Yeah, not not a huge monster. Well, that's a good one there. Twenty pounds? Nah. About the same size as mine. A little bigger. I got him. Yeah, buddy. All right, there we go. My first tile of the day. Almost took out my toe. Pretty little golden. Awesome. All right. One down, some more to go. All right, second drop here. First drop. Nice little maybe 10 pound tile, golden tile. All right. Send her into the abyss. Okay. <laughs> All right, quick little switch up here. Tommy is hand cranking about 500 feet of water. Just moved a little bit shallower. So I'm on the uh, Beastmaster here. Stoke. Video game fishing now. Oh, you're on Tommy. Oh yeah. Tommy's on the meat. Hell yeah. All right. I'm on the bottom. Got him. Got him. Oh yeah. Whoo! Saw me out a little bit. See those head shakes, Chris? See those head shakes? Makes me nervous though every time he shakes his head. Woo! You're on? Doubled up, baby! Oh little guy. Little guy there. Rosie, yeah! Oh, that's a nice blue line there. Get him, Zach. Yeah! Nice little blue line there. Uh, Pan of Tommy. You guys drop, I'll Tommy got a little blue line and a rose fish there. All right. Sweet. Tommy, eight. 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 Perfect. 175. 175. All right, Tommy's final guess, 175. Chris, your final guess? I'm going like 160. 160, yeah. Zach? I'll go 165. 165. 180. 180? I'll say 170, 177. My cousin John Rossi, 152. Really? Yeah. Over a little zealous. Over zealous. Dude, there is so much meat on these fish here. There we go. That's the move. Okay. We got steak right there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. All right. Cheers, Matt. Cheers, bro. That's many big eyes. Good. Fortunately. Great. Oh, what happened? So good. Yeah, we don't know. You don't have time. Thank you. Oh, yeah. All right, folks, just hanging out at the dock right now. Got back a couple hours ago. We really weren't any crazy rush to get everything done. Nice to get back after a uh, pretty stellar day offshore. Started off the day pretty quickly with uh, two nice big eye weighed in 150 pounds, and the other one was probably a little smaller, maybe 120, 130, and picked up eight tile fish there in the afternoon before we started getting snagged. and. So we caught enough fish for the day. So, Chris, thanks for taking me out, my man. Oh, you're welcome, dude. Anytime, bro. Good to have you. Yeah. Got a hand. He's the best uh, YouTuber around, guys. <laughs> Check him out. He's awesome. So, uh, yeah, it was my first offshore trip of the year. I don't of think it right? yeah. 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 started better. Yeah. Me and Chris did go out a couple days ago for sea bass, and it was pretty, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty depressing. So, that's yeah. your second big eye trip ever, right? Huh? Your second big eye trip ever, right? Or like, where you've landed them. No, that was only my second successful yeah. big eye catch. Yeah. So, yep. And I've been to fishing a long, long, long time. Yep. So I was yeah. here two years ago almost to the day, and we landed a 160 pounder. Two years later, now we caught two fish. Again, hopefully it's the start of it. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully the start of an exciting offshore season. And uh, yeah, my only regret for the day is just sleeping in and missing the two bites. Besides that, a stellar day offshore, and wish it could be that simple, that easy every time. So with that being said, I've got a. Uh, Quick drive home, still gotta flay some tile fish up, gonna have some sushi for dinner. And uh, yeah, hell of a day. Catch you guys in the next one. Again, huge shout out, subscribe to Reaper Fishing. Oh yeah, look at him, been in the gym. See you guys.